was just doing some work on the van. I've had it a couple of weeks now, and um, just doing some updates and just tidying up of things. So um, I thought I'll show you what I've been doing. So first thing is silicon all the holes from outside to inside so that all the dust doesn't come in. So haven't done it yet, but all these holes where pipes and things come in. So there's one at the back there. So there's some wiring coming through. There's no silicon around that that I can see. So that's gonna have a heap of dust come into it if we go off road. Um, another spot here, so where the um, gas heater is under the bed. So it's got some conduit coming through and it's got silicon or something around the conduit, but nothing around there. So there could be, um, there could be silicon on the other end, but um, I'll have to get out and have a look underneath. But I thought I'll do everything from the top and I'll have a quick look. I've already had a quick look underneath. So um, there's, oh, I think there's one screw hole that didn't have anything in it. So I'll probably just put a dab in that. Um, <clears throat> Another thing I've done is on this door, so it's got this fluffy, fluffy stuff. So that's your door seal. So that stuff wears away and it's pretty average and you can see daylight through it so bugs can come through. So what I did was buy some of this. It's a window seal. You can get it from heaps of places online, but you just search for what door type you've got. So I've got the Kamek door. And then, so there's no seal here from standard. So all you do is you just slide it in there, use some silicon spray. You gotta take that off and the other couple. Um, but that's a solid, I'll show you. So now that's a solid seal all the way around. Whereas before, the only seal was that fluffy stuff and as you can see it's not really that great. What are you holding here? So another thing I've been doing is climbing underneath and zip tying things that are loose. So I'll probably put about 30 zip ties under here. So just having some loose cabling, um, which I don't like because it rubs on stuff or it can get caught on stuff and pull off. So just making sure all your all your wiring and water lines are tight. Um, found this. So, so that's a guard, they're guards for your suspension to stop any rocks and things hitting it. This one's okay. This one's got one bolt in it. So that's just sitting there flicking around. So I'll we'll tidy that up. Uh, yeah, so you go under here. So you can see I've put on one, two, three. Um, yeah, I've put on about 30 of them. So just like having everything nice and tight and neat. So rocks don't get caught in them. They don't rub on things or like this one here. That was just hanging down here somewhere. So suspension's not gonna grab it, but some, a big stick or something could grab it and pull it down. And I think that's actually, I think it's part of the ESC by the looks of it. So definitely don't want that breaking. So I've got to pull all these um, vents off and put insect netting behind them because that's where um, all your insects and bugs get let in. Um, so yeah, these are things I've been working on the last couple of weeks, just, just tidying up. It's a second hand van, so um, in not bad condition, um, but yeah, still got a few things that we just need to tidy up on it so that we're, um, we're ready to go and things aren't letting us down um, when we actually do go traveling. So check out this hole here. Yeah. So that's obviously some wiring. You can see how dirty that is. Like that's already had some red dirt. Probably, I think this van's had a lot of red dirt in it before. So it's been cleaned, but the problem's not fixed. You need to silicon up these holes. So I'll keep finding the holes. So a little bit of maintenance like that, covering all the holes up, uh, getting everything working properly. Stuff that's moving or loose or rubbing is only going to cause you dramas down the track. So it takes you a few minutes to climb under, have a look. If something moves and shouldn't, zip tie it up or P-clamp it up or whatever you need to do to um, you know, make it secure. 
Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last week or so. Oh yeah, you probably would have noticed if you've been watching for a while that we changed our channel name. It was Explore Oz. And um, we'd been thinking for a while to change it because it was fairly generic. And a lot of the feedback we were getting was uh, everyone's called Explore Australia or Aussie Explorers or something like that. And we'd had that channel name for years, like five years or something. And we've just been, um, you know, documenting our travels. And then so we made the decision, we're just going to call it Brett and Amber because that's us. Um, and uh, yeah, it's nice and simple. And it's just whatever we're doing is what we're going to document and it doesn't necessarily have to be about exploring australia but that's generally what we're doing but um anyway that's the reason for the channel name so um that's a bit of an update for you and um we'll see you on the next one